beginning of the, of the big debate. You guys ready? Jesus, yeah. he's starting it off as a debate. <laughs> They're already ready to fight. You know, you got the, the modern warfare monkeys lined up against the battlefield brotards, whatever you want to call it. How's that for alliteration? Well, basically, the first punch is thrown, I'm thinking. so. Yeah. So there you go. All let's right. Well, let's let's get started. Welcome everybody. Welcome. We're talking about Battlefield Seven here. This is, this is uh, <laughs> Professor Jeff, and I've got with me Jason Murphy, the Murph. Howdy. Nick Hodges, the Ass Crusher. Evening. <laughs> <laughs> and Kevin, Captain Sassy Baird. All I know is is that what we're doing right now is taking me away from playing Battlefield Three. So we need to hurry <laughs> this up. You're that into it. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, I love it. I've, wow. I've been playing okay. it like nonstop. I'm no like that, I'm like that guy that's like totally not eating, just sitting in his like slowly dying while he's playing the game. My eyes are bleeding. <laughs> yeah. up, slapping really, on mo- slapping on monster energy drinks. You're right. It? Yeah. Just, <laughs> my uh, bladder's like, please go to the bathroom now. You know. And I'm like, all right. Uh, Come on. A, a real diehard fan would just piss himself and keep going. <laughs> Kept that flag. <laughs> Soldier, come on. Oh, man. Well, where should we start? What do you guys think? Should we start talking about multiplayer? Should we start getting well, single player out of the way? Let's get single player out of the way, because uh, unlike the last Battlefield game, uh, Battlefield 2, which was purely multiplayer, they uh, made a big effort in trying to uh, market this as a good single player experience. So, yeah, Not so fast, well, Hodges. Not so they, fast. They made a big effort to market it. As a yeah, single player experience, isn't that what I said? That they that is what mar- you said. Yeah, they <laughs> I'm did. clarifying. They, I was about yeah. to say, it's, well, I wouldn't say a big effort, Nick, but you said <laughs> to market it as such. So I'll let that slide. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, see, personally, I was sta- I was trying to stack this up against Bad Company and Bad Company Two because that oh. was the last single player Battlefield experience that there was. You know, before that, none of the other Battlefields have ever had any any real single player chops outside of bot match, and that's really. <laughs> yeah, but I kind of see uh, Bad Company One and Two as like their own own separate thing. Like it's Red-headed definitely like its own. Children. <laughs> well, no, no. I mean, like Bad Company One and Two has got its own storyline. It's obviously set in a separate world. Like uh, that's like when the America's at war with Russia and stuff like that. Like this is uh, completely different. It's like starting off from scratch, basically. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't America at war with Russia in Battlefield Three? Yes. Well, okay. not really, technically not, but I don't know. Maybe we're I don't know a- what game you were playing, Nick, but uh, when I was playing, it sure as hell felt like war. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. Well, most and of the I time, I can you're- smell a red. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, most of the time, you're, you're fighting uh, like the PLR, which are like this um, terrorist organization that's kind of yeah. Al Qaeda mixed up with uh, I don't know Taliban. Like, except they're in from Iran. It's a bit confusing, but. Uh, the Russians are also kind of the good guys in a way in this game, but then again, they're not. It's it's proper confusing for what should be a simple first person shooter. Thank you, because this this I thought that Battlefield Three had one of the most convoluted plots of games <laughs> I've played all year long. I mean, it's like Black Ops and Modern Warfare had some kind of horrible inbred modern military child. Because the whole game takes place in these flashback sequences, but then half the time you're flashing back to people that they're not even talking to. You know, it's not like Black Ops where they say, tell me about the numbers, and then you go back to, well, I was in Afghanistan. And yeah. they, you know, suddenly this guy is talking about some pilot, and you're flashing back to <laughs> yeah. some completely different person. It just, I don't yeah there's, a bit, yeah, there's a bit where he's like, how did you uh, tell, do that? Tell me about, yeah, he's like, tell me about Lieutenant Hawkins. It's like, who's that? You know who she was? She was flying in a plane 30,000 feet above you during one mission you did a long time ago. Reenact like, the conversation. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> She's... He's he like, never, he how never did even you even get here, Hawkins? <laughs> <laughs> this is my flashback. <laughs> yeah, I and I, I mean, you know, Jason and I kind of started playing the single player. You know, we recorded a video for it, and I could say that it took about an hour before anything became even remotely clear about what the hell was going on with uh, with the game. Look, the situation is this: we lost contact with Jackson's squad. They were investigating a lead on a possible chem weapon site at grid 8-0. For now, you're the only element I've got to send. Jackson's last known position was Spinza Meat Market, and they're in a bad fucking part of town. I need you to find our Marines and bring them back safe ASAP before the PLR find them. Move out. Let's 
go find this patrol. And unfortunately, when it did become clear, it wasn't really very interesting. I mean, I don't know. What do you guys think? Uh, I thought it was decent. It wasn't terribly interesting. It wasn't anything special. It was just really unremarkable. It was yeah. just kind of a regurgitated, you know, bunch of B scenes from Black Ops. Basically, uh, it was like, it, okay, you know those movies from Asylum, the Studio <laughs> Asylum. It's like the day the Earth stood still. Uh, yes, yeah, snakes on a train. The, yeah, they'll they'll release like the day the Earth stopped turning. You know, or instead of Transformers, they'll release Transmorphers. Mm-hmm. That's what the battlefield thing felt like. It was like you know, Call of Duty. They call it well, Call of Valor. You know, that's what the Battlefield single player felt like to me. I also thought it was extremely difficult. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong here, but just it seemed like the computer opponents. You know, you're having to shoot through, and don't get me wrong, the, all parts of the game look fantastic. But you know, they've got dirt on your virtual camera and lights flashing in your face, and lasers, and smoke, and fire, and all this shit, and I'm just trying to see where there's even a person, and yet these guys have snipers that are, there's like 12 guys on the other side of this smoke that are shooting with like laser precision, getting headshots on me the entire time. It was, it was, I, I don't know, I thought it was very frustrating. Yeah, as as the uh, engines get able, uh, become able to handle more, you've got all this crap thrown in your face, so it's like... Maybe all of those armchair warriors who think that they'd actually be good in a firefight because they kicked ass at Call of Duty, as it approaches something closer to uh, representing reality, maybe they'll realize, oh, I, I can't do this because I got dirt in my eye. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, people have asked about our pet peeves before, and uh, this game brought up a brand new one, and that is the dirty camera effect. Like the entire <laughs> yeah. game, I just wanted to reach my hand up in front of the, my virtual camera face and just wipe that shit off. And I don't understand why we have to present this as if the entire thing is being viewed through, you know, a uh, handheld, a shitty handheld camcorder. But oh yeah, there's no way to escape it. It's either uh, raindrops or it's uh, you know mud or or just dust. Like you're in a, like a normal environment where there's no sound and it's just dust on the camera. It's like fuck's sake, man, you know. <laughs> like I pay top quality uh, dollar for this, and I want to, yeah. you know, play the game. Shit. You, keep, you keep wanting him to say, "Hey, Corporal, you got some shit in your eyes. You might want to wipe that <laughs> off." I mean, no, literally, there's like stuff all over your face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I don't know. I guess at the end of the day, I couldn't. The single player did not really strike me as like if if you're looking for a good single player modern military experience. This doesn't seem to be the place to get it. I liked it. I just didn't think it was great. You know, don't go out of your way to play it. If you've got the game, sure, you probably won't kick yourself for playing it. But I mean, if you've got the game, why are you wasting your time on single player anyway? It was still <laughs> obviously a half-hearted attempt to compete with Call of Duty. Oh yeah, no, this was uh, definitely a big disappointment. I mean, I'll be the first to admit it. I got sucked in by the hype as much as everyone else was. And I was yeah, we know. Re- really disappointed. <laughs> I, I, I'm man enough to, you know, to, to say it, Jason, okay? This is, you know, me <laughs> saying it right now, okay? Yeah, the, they didn't make as much of an effort with the single players as much as they should have. And also, the huge multitude of bugs that there are in this game. I don't know if you guys uh, experienced any, especially during the single player. You wanted to talk about that? I had a great one where um, where the guys all lined up at the door like they were going to breach through and go in and kick some ass, and then suddenly all four of my squad mates just ran right through the door, yes. and I was trapped on the other side. I couldn't get anywhere. I was just like, what? Oh, come on, guys. Open it up. They should have called that game Ghost Recon. Wah-wah. <laughs> 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 they were dead the whole time. Like, uh, I had one where... Um... I would, I'd, well, I would be walking up to a bunch of guys and they're all just standing still with their arms stretched out. They look like they're about to take off or they're mimicking like a plane or something. <laughs> and I'm just like, are you guys okay? And I'm walking up to them and then they finally like tumble down dead. Like, oh shit, I'm supposed to be dead. You know? well, it like, would have been so much better if they just would have run off like little children going, meh. <laughs> <laughs> or just started doing yoga. <laughs> yeah, and you have like uh, artillery barrages going around them. <laughs> it's going, meow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing Ace Combat. Leave me alone. <laughs> well, enough of this single player malarkey. Let's get down to why everybody really came to this party: the multiplayer. Kevin. Oh yeah, can we, I mean, can we hear it on on the 360 version. There's two discs. One's multiplayer, and the other one is to put your beer on. So um, <laughs> that's 
That's how I played the game. I didn't even insert the whatever. I didn't care about the single player experience. I still don't now after listening to you guys. Plus, listen, anything that Jeff ever says is difficult after he <laughs> talked about Dark Souls. I'm never playing anything you say is difficult. That should just be right off the bat. It just gets thrown in the trash at that point because I'm not going to even bother with it. The disc starts laughing if Kevin considers putting it in. Yes. It's like, don't touch me, you pussy. You can't handle this. No, forget it. No, but multiplayer, I look, I love it. I'm going to go play it again as soon as we're done recording. I just think it's great. Granted, it feels a lot like the old game, but I love that too. I'm just a total Battlefield 3 freak at this point and when call of duty comes out i'll play that too I, I like all these games they're it's like madden in a way they're basically the same games with like improvements all the time and um i'm fine with that i really am i just think they're a total blast one of the big things is that you know you can do deathmatch there's several different modes on multiplayer there's there's your deathmatch there's your team deathmatch you've got uh, conquest which is everyone trying to hold you know two teams basically trying to hold a couple of different flag points for the longest time uh, until their quote unquote tickets run out, the more flags you hold, the slower your tickets count down. Uh, and then there's rush, which is two teams, one of them protecting a couple of sites, and the other one's trying to blow it up. And basically, kind of a variation on the old Counter Strike type thing. But rush has always been uh, pretty popular. My favorite's conquest. I play the hell out of that. Um, but these are big maps, you know, just like with the old one. So it's. Uh, it, Aside from some cosmetic differences, they really didn't change much from like Battlefield 2 or even the multiplayer options on Bad Company 2. Um, yes, I was going to ask about how different is it from, say, Bad Company 2? Because that was the most recent, that was the most recent Battlefield game out there. Uh, well, there's tons I... of differences. Like, for example, the, the, the amount of destruction that you can lay is, complete, uh, is completely um, smaller than in Bad Company 2. Like, if I wanted to get through a, uh, a building and there's no door, i just make my own fucking door with a grenade launcher, just blow a hole through it. Whereas in uh, Battlefield 3, it's very selective on what kind of destruction. I mean, when this, the, there is destruction, it looks amazing, it looks gorgeous, but it's not as... It, it's a bit more linear than Bad Company 2. Mm -hmm. And also, I'd like to quickly mention about the, the vehicles that you can control... In Battlefield 3, for example, ever, what everyone was excited about was jet fighters, and because you weren't able to do that uh, before. In, jet well, fighters... in, in Bad Company, you weren't. In Battlefield 2, you were. Actually, maybe you could on Bad Company 2, but no, yeah. I, don't, I don't remember. I'm sorry. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, go yeah. ahead. In, in, in Battlefield 3, those jet fighters are hard to fly, as well as with the, the helicopters. I mean, like, when you're playing a multiplayer match, you'll see, like, people uh, crashing all the time. It's not because they're being shot down. It's because they can't it's really difficult to fly them, and it looks yeah. like they're drunk all the time. They're Man. just falling out the sky like flies. That is yeah. always a gamble. There's that moment when you jump into a, a helicopter, and you're like, okay, let's see what this guy... Can oh, we're, <laughs> we're going off to the... What do we... Shit, bail out. I'm out. I'm out. So wait, now, wait a minute. I thought that was how you were supposed to play the game. There was a tutorial where they say you take off, turn upside down, crash on the side <laughs> of the building, launch all your missiles, and then, you know die that's how you fly a helicopter isn't it i mean right. i've been playing battlefield you get that one string fellow hawk badass <laughs> who is just a maniac at the at the uh, helicopter and he is the scourge of the entire map because no one can get him and he's just picking you off capping flags just a monster a demon behind the yeah, stick i i play the the helicopter i've i've learned how to fly it i don't have any problems with flying it it does take a little bit of time the jets are boring really when it comes down mm -hmm. to it because part of the problem is, is you have a limited range that you can fly within and then it's always like turn around you know and it's like i don't know it's mostly just doing little like loops around to try to shoot one of the other jets or you know not smash into the the mountainside while you're doing it but the helicopter is totally fun i mean i i know what you guys are saying the the first 50 times you'll hop into one you will completely just drive it backwards into the ground or whatever but after a while, you'll just get a hang for it, and it, 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 it's, it's a blast, especially if you've got guys in the helicopter, like, assisting you, shooting everybody on the ground. It's a good time. Yeah, yeah. I, every time I try to fly it, I just start vomiting. With the jet fighters, one of the problems is, is that when you first... It's hard to get, get one, first of all, because everyone wants to get into the jet fight, but when you finally do, you don't have any missiles on. You don't have any flares. <laughs> right. like you have to... You are, all you are armed with is the bloody machine gun, and somehow you are supposed to upgrade while you're in the... Do you know how fucking hard it is to fly at supersonic speed and shoot a you know a single man <laughs> right. on the ground with yeah. machine guns when you're going Mach five? <laughs> it's fucking impossible. Yeah, I uh, 
uh, one of the things that gets me is that you know it, the big thing a lot of to a lot of people the big difference between Call of Duty and this is uh, the uh, the vehicles. 